A lot of you watching this channel are actually starting hotshot trucking businesses, and that's awesome. Here's a sneak peek to the questions I'll be answering in the free video series. I'll have it to you guys next week. I think I'm picking up that monster, and it has to be tarped. And it's nine feet tall, and it's gonna go on this trailer. So that should be fun. That should be really, really fun. I'm six foot three. This load is nine foot two, nothing shabby. And if it wasn't for the help of those loaders, I'd be up the creek trying to get the tarp on top of this, never mind over the top and getting the sides to drop down. But in the meantime, look at the slick tarping strategy. That boy is a problem. All right, it's time for the big guns. So these are my bungees for securing my tarp once I'm done. These are the bungees I use to tie up my tarp when it's rolled up. Obviously I took them off because I unrolled it. Uh, my chains, my 70 grade chains and two binders. So I can't strap this because it's really delicate up top. Um, which is fine with me. I don't want to damage it. Did that once, although it wasn't my fault. It wasn't labeled properly, so I escaped that once. But now what I'm looking to do is, I'm not gonna, this is all, this base, this is steel. This base is connected to this unit. You can see it's bolted right there, and also right there. And there's another one at the top. So there's six bolts on each side that bolt this, whatever it is, to this base. I'm not gonna strap the machine because there's no way to strap it. I'm going to chain down the base because there are one, so essentially I'm securing the machine as well. So I'm gonna take a chain and I'm gonna put it in through here, underneath here, so they go out the way. over this, underneath here, I'm gonna go that way. So I'm holding this down with a chain. I'm going to drag the chain through there. And then that way and that way and more that way until I get to uh, in there. And my chain is going to come out through there. And then I'll secure the chain around this bar around the same kind of a bar back there and I'll um, my binder will be right here so that'll hold this side down same thing on the other side and that's that it's only 5300 pounds if it was 10,000 pounds FMCSA says that if an item is 10,000 pounds or more it needs to have four independent chains like a vehicle like you know like a tractor or something this is 6,000 pounds, so I don't have to do one on every corner. I've done one on every corner for items that are less than 6,000 pounds that require chaining. In this case, it's a square item, so I'm good with, I feel comfortable with one chain on either side. I'm good with that. So let me get to tarping and into chaining and into moving. This may sound really corny, but chaining items down is something I really enjoy. I usually spend some time looking at the item and figuring out how can I chain this without damaging it. And once I figure that out, I usually chain it and then figure out that I did something wrong or that it's not even holding the item down to the trailer. And then I have to start again. So I used to rush, but now I just give it about an hour to chain something down. It does take a little bit of time. When I first started, an old school trucker told me when you rush, you make mistakes. So I try not to rush anymore. And I like the peace of driving down the road knowing that I secured this thing right. This binder is really great because it has in, which is to make it tight, out, which is to loosen it. But then in the middle is the money. This is, ah, there it is. This is free spin. Ah, there you, go. you see it? Free spin. And free spin is so you don't have to go right, right, right. You can just twist this. Watch, you'll see me do it. This is 
free spin. If not, I'd have to go bam, bam, bam. And that takes, this is just faster. To get it to the point of tight. So here's how I've bound this thing. I have this chain goes there around this peg. Boom. All right, around that peg. Underneath that. See, I'm underneath that, so I'm holding this. Pressure's down on that. Behind, behind. Pops back out over here, so I'm holding this whole side down. Right there, and right there is holding this whole side down comes back out around a peg right here underneath my peg and then this is just my extra but it comes up here and then I grabbed it with the binder binder this one's going around the peg that's behind that tarp up here and I grabbed it right here with the binder like that clang and then I tighten both of these ends of chain that I grabbed together and then the excess chain is right here. This is what I moved around so it hangs straight over. Same here, I took this extra excess chain and just clipped it to another piece of chain here, but that's that.